hey what's up so i will talk about migration strategies or versioning your that your schemas so as you can see we have version 0 for our user schema and for example i will produce or i will introduce sorry uh, this edge property of type number and running our script again to migrate the database or just to just run our database create the connection create the schemas all of that this will produce an error because the current uh, schema in our database is not the same one as we have here we are, so this will throw an error so what you need to do to increase this by one but still this will provide an error because this schema is a different one from the database this one has the age property so to fix this to fix this problem there is a solution when you go to the collection function you need to pass a migration strategies object each key represents the version of the schema so i will have a key called one a number which is a function so this function will be executed for each document in our collection so and it will be passed to it the old document you can just and you need to return something so this is the old document but since we are introducing the age property we need to fill that we can't just leave it empty okay if you think about it i'm not putting any rules that allow emptiness in this uh property so i need to put it or, or at least to get some uh, data to put in this for now uh, and actually this is very powerful you can put a synchronous functions uh, create some uh, uh, create HTTP requests get some data fetch some data do whatever you want here but I'll make it simple so edge will be equal to zero so let's now let's now just run the script main hopefully no errors so yeah there is no errors and as you can see the edge is zero but thinking about it the users that have i mean i'm just giving some scenarios randomly scenarios for example we faced this and we added uh, a new feature called edge or new property in our schema called edge we know we, we we want the user to provide their edge their edges when they register for example 200 users registered without providing an edge because we didn't have this property in the schema so we pr we introduced that property but we added we put all the edges as zeros but uh, this does not make sense so to this to this quintish or to <laughs> uh, to separate okay that's an easier word to separate the users that have been that registered after introducing the edge property or and before introducing the edge property uh, the people before introducing that property should have the edge of null not zero so for say for example your manager did not want that so what you will do you will modify the schema again and put here this will accept a number or null since we modified the schema this will be version 2 now go to your create connection version 1 should the key 1 should always say the same we will have another one another function for the version 2 so all doc dot edge will be equal to null now return old doc but thinking about it imagine if some users registered after introducing the edge property i mean we are, we are just putting everything to null right this is not a good idea what we will actually do is this so we will store the edge itself again if it exists if not i'll just store null so this is uh i mean <laughs> it's a stupid example but i think you will face this if you are using uh, this database and you face it actually when you are dealing with data with data versions and all of that so if the edge exists already uh, we will put it if not uh, we would put null i mean uh, but in our current database all the users have uh, the edge of zero what will happen if zero or null is here let me show you so zero or null we will get null because zero is falsy 
so let me move let me let me convert zero to a boolean by the two explanation marks this return false one return true uh, empty string will return false uh, string with even one character will return true okay uh, I think empty array will return true yeah uh, empty object will return true yeah anyway so zero will return false so we'll get null so let's run the server again as you can see the the edge is null so um, very easy stuff uh, again I will put a link in the description so you can check these uh, stuff out read the docs uh, it will give you much more uh, insightful information about this but uh, I think I gave you a good example if I could explain it correctly um, and uh, thank you for watching